sign in with Twitter, Facebook, GitHub, and Google are now all set up and ready to go. Next step is adding account linking in to our dialogue flow in Alexa skills. To add our account linking to our dialogue flow app, go to dialogue flow and sign in and open up your smart lock. Once you're in the smart lock agent, go down to the integrations tab, check the integration settings and check the sign in required box. We can then click close. Now we want to go over to Actions on Google. Once you go to your Actions on Google console, be sure that you're in your Smart Lock app. We can then scroll down and we can find Account Linking. Once you're in Account Linking, you want to leave No selected and check the OAuth linking type. In the grant type, select authorization code. The client ID can be copied from our Auth0 app. Same with the client secret. Now the authorization URL will need to scroll down, show advanced settings, click endpoints, and then copy the OAuth authorization URL. Paste that into the authorization URL. For token URL, it's right beneath, labeled OAuth token URL. Once all that info is added, click Next. We'll need to add some scopes in here. The first scope we'll want to add is going to be called OpenID. The next one is labeled underscore offline access. The third scope we need is called profile. And then the final scope we need to add is called email. Click Next. In the testing instructions, if you're going to publish this app, be sure to give a Google username and a Google password that actually work, so that way the Google testing team can verify your app. Once we click Save, account linking has been added to our Google Assistant skill. The thing we want to do is we want to click the gear in the top right and click Project Settings. What's important on this page is our Project ID. Going back to our Auth0 page, in the allowed callback URLs field, we want to type https colon double forward slash oauth hyphen redirect dot google users content dot com forward slash r forward slash and then we'll paste our project ID. Once we've done that, we can click the save button to save our changes. Congratulations, you have successfully added account linking to your Google Action.